In today's health cast, a new study involving South Florida researchers will likely establish a new standard of care for cancer prevention in people with HIV. Dr. Isabella Rosa with Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center says the risk of anal cancer is higher among those with HIV than the general population. The study found that treating precancerous lesions lowers that risk rather than taking a wait and see approach. The impact will be we're going to come with guidelines not only to guide the screening for the HIV group, but also for other patients at risk, including men who have sex with men, transplant patients after certain years of transplant, they have much higher risk of having anal cancer. Now she says people on immunosuppressant ther therapies are also at higher risk for anal cancer and could benefit from a change in CDC guidelines for screening. The anchor study, which was funded by the National Cancer Institute, will continue to follow the HIV patients who were treated until 2025. And researchers have found that vitamin D deficiency leads to higher levels of inflammatory biomarkers, while vitamin D is classically known for regulating calcium levels. Recent studies have shown that it may play a role in modulating the body's inflammatory response, too. The researchers concluded that improving vitamin D levels could mitigate the risk of inflammatory-related conditions.